back to the Crochet Crowd with my friends at Yarnspirations.com. We have the Lacy Pineapple Crochet Shawl designed by Marley Bird. Today is a lacy shawl, and once we get started on this thing, the pattern repeat is actually really easy. Now, Marley is suggesting Peyton's Croy Sock yarn. It is a sock-based yarn, therefore the hook size is really quite small of a 3.75 millimeter size F as in Frank crochet hook. What I'm going to do on camera today is use a size G, a four and a half millimeter, and I'm going to be using some cotton ripple cakes as my choice of yarn today. So you can substitute your yarns if you'd like to, if you don't want to use something so small. Now Marley has provided on page number three, the crochet stitch diagram. Now she has the red X's right here and here. So I'm going to have three stitch markers that are in play and so every time I have a stitch marker here I'm just going to drag it up here here and here and it allows you to make sure that you're keeping in sequence. Once you get to a certain point in this pattern right from 10 through 12 this is going to be the repeat over and over and over until the cows come home and therefore you can have this pattern to enjoy. So ultimately my goal is to get you to round 10, 11, and 12, and then you repeat these until you're satisfied. And then the last row is just finished like so. So that's it. And we're gonna start right from the very beginning and begin our journey. Okay, let's begin. We're going to chain four to start. So one, two, three, four, and slip stitch to the first chain to create the center ring. So then just slip stitch through and you have the center ring like so. Let's begin round number one or row number one. Row number one, chain one, and I want you to put five single crochets into the center ring. Go right up over top of the straggler piece and that'll get stuck underneath. So we'll count those together. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. And if you went over top of this draggler and you're comfortable, you can just safely cut that out. And then you can move on to row number two. So turn your work and you're gonna turn at the end of each row. Let's begin row number two. We're going to chain six, which will count as a double crochet and a chain three space. So one, two, three, that's a double crochet, and four, five, six is a chain three space. And in the first single crochet where this is coming out of, I need you to double crochet. We're now going to chain three. So one, two, three. Skip the next single and come into the next one here, which is the middle of the back, if it's going down your back. And right in there, you're going to double crochet You're now going to chain three. So one, two, three. And I want you to double crochet into the same single crochet. This is the center of the back. Before you go any further, highly recommending on the middle one here, you just want to indicate where your stitch is so that you can find it. Okay, so you're just going to come into the middle one and you're going to place in a stitch marker. So I just use spare yarn, but you may have some implements that are better. Sorry, the dog's barking. Okay, so let's continue down the other side of this. So now you're going to chain three. One, two, three. Skip the next single and come into the very last one of the row. It looks like there's three, but there's only two. This is just a chain to build. And it's gonna go right there and you're going to double crochet. Chain three. And double crochet and that was row number two so turn your work and let's do row number three let's begin row number three we want to slip stitch ourselves to this space right here okay so you're going to come in and just slip into the chain three space now you're going to chain three one two three and double crochet into that same space You now want to chain two and put two more double crochets into that same space. And before you go any further, let's place in a stitch marker into the middle chain two section. This is just going to let you know every time that you're on the edge. 
Okay, so we'll put one in there, and we'll put one on the other side when we get there. So just pull it through, and let's keep on going. You're now going to chain three. One, two, three. And in the next space right here, you're going to apply a double crochet and a chain three. One, two, three and a double crochet back in. Sorry about the dog. So we got chain three, so one, two, three. And then we're gonna come into the space here. So don't worry about the stitch marker, just pretend it's not there. And I want you to double crochet twice. So we have one and two. And this time we're only gonna chain two, one and two, and double crochet two more times into the same space. Now we wanna keep that stitch marker in position. So I'm going to use that strand and just pull it up through the middle piece. It just lets you know where the middle is. So this strand is gonna carry up throughout. So let's come down the other side and you're going to chain three. So one, two, three. The next space is going to be a double crochet chain three and a double crochet. And then we have a chain three. And in the last space right here, you are going to apply the following. Two double crochet to start. So we have one and two, followed by chain two, and then two more double crochet. This is your end. And before you go any further, I want you to place in that last stitch marker that we're holding. So you're just gonna come into the space and just place that in. So you'll be able to find that in the future. When things get lacy, it's not always easy to tell. Okay, let's turn your work and let's begin the next row, number four. Let's begin number four. We're currently in the wrong spot, so I want to slip stitch over to where the stitch marker is. That's why we marked it. So we have to slip across the first crochet that you're running into, double crochet, and then into the next chain three, or chain two spot. We're now going to start, and you're going to chain uh, three, so one, two, three, and double crochet into the same spot. chain two, and in the same spot, double crochet two more times. I'm going around that stitch marker, but I'm still in the same spot. So when I pull that stitch marker out, it's gonna balance. Move that stitch marker up so that you can find that again in the future. And let's keep on going. So you need to chain three, one, two, three. In this big space right here, so you're skipping this, just go right here, and you are going to apply the following. A double crochet, chain three, a double crochet again, and then a chain three, so one, two, three, double crochet again, you want a total of five of these spokes. So chain three. This is the fourth spoke. Chain three and double crochet again. So you should be able to count five spokes. So one, two, three, four, five. And now you're going to chain three. One, two, three. And you are going to jump right to the middle right here. And in that one, you were going to apply the following. Two double crochet to start. So one, and two, chain two, and then two more double crochet in there. This is the middle. So after I'm done this one, I want to move that stitch marker up so I can find this again in the future. It just makes sense to be able to keep an eye on that. And 
and now we're going to come down the other side. So we're going to chain three to start, one, two, three, and come right to this space. So skipping this one, go right to this one. And you're going to do that five spokes again. So you're going to double crochet and then chain three five times. One, two, three, another double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain three, double crochet, and then chain three. So you should be able to count five. So one, two, three, four, five, followed by a chain three, and you're going to jump right to the uh, end space for the next one to finish this. And in number four here, you are going to apply two double crochet to start. So we have one and two, chain two, and two more double crochet in there and then move that stitch marker up. Okay, and this is row number four. So let's turn this around and let's begin row number five. Okay, let's begin row number five. Right where we're sitting is in the wrong spot. We need to move to the edge here. So we're going to slip stitch over one on top of the next double crochet and into the space. And this is where we're gonna start. So we need to chain six, which will count as a double crochet in a chain three space. So one, two, three, that's a double crochet, and four, five, six is a chain three space. In the same space where this is marked, you are going to apply two double crochet. So we have one and two, followed by chain two, and two more double crochet into the same spot. Okay, so before we get too far, we wanna move that stitch marker up where we can see it, and it needs to be in this space right here. So we've been normally moving up here, we need to move over here. So let's move that stitch marker over so we can see it in the future. And let's keep on going here, number five. We're now going to chain three. So one, two, three. And you are going to look for these spokes. And in these spokes, we're going to be applying chain five spaces. So come into the first chain three after the spoke here, this double crochet, single crochet, and then chain five. So we have one, two, three, four, five and then come into the next chain three, single crochet and chain five again. So we have one, two, three, four, five, come into the next single crochet, or it's chain three space and single crochet, and then chain five again. So one, two, three, four, five, and single crochet into the next chain three space. So when you're, all done and through, you should have three chain five spaces. Let's keep on moving and we're going to chain three and reach over to the middle here where it's marked. And in this one here, we're going to apply two double crochet to start. Noticing that I'm pinching this because if I don't, it kind of unravels. So I always pinch and going in and double crochet the first one and double crochet again. chain two, and two more double crochets into the center. Now you're gonna chain three. This is the very center of your shawl. And then you're going to apply two more double crochets on the other side of the stitch marker, but in the same spot. So one and two. chain two, sorry, my apologies. Yeah, chain two, and then two more double crochet there. Before you go any further, 
look for that chain three space that was in the center, follow it straight on up and move your stitch marker up so that you can find that again in the future. Okay. And let's go down the other side. We're gonna chain three to begin and reach for these chain threes that are after the first spoke, after the first double crochet here. So right there, and you are going to single crochet and chain five. So what happens on this side is reflective on the other. So one, two, three, four, five, single into the next chain three, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, single into the next chain three, and one more time. So one, two, three, four, five, single into the next chain three, and then you have your three chain five spaces that you can see. Now you're going to chain three, and you're going to come into this marked one right at the edge. And you're going to double crochet twice. So we have one and two, followed by chain two and another two double crochets there. So one and two, followed by chain three and one double crochet finally in that last same one. Remember how I said at the beginning, chain six counted as a double crochet in a chain three space. So this side, it was chain three and double crochet in there. So it gives you the same number. And I want you to move the stitch marker up to this chain three space. Okay, and that finished round number, row number five. Let's turn our work and begin row number six. Row number six, we're sitting in the wrong spot. We need to go to the stitch marker right here and we're gonna slip stitch over one and then begin our journey here. Chain three and double crochet into the same space. Chain two and in the same space again, two more double crochet. And before you go any further, move your stitch marker up right here. Keep on going. Now you're chaining three, one, two, three. And in this space right here, do you see that? It's the next space. You're going to apply two double crochet to start. Chain two and two double crochet. So what we're doing is as these rows continue, you're making more and more space. So more and more pineapples will appear and you'll notice that in the repeating of the pattern later on in the future. Continuing along here in row number six, you're gonna chain three. So one, two, three. And then you are going to come into this space right here. It's the chain five space. And you're going to single crochet in and then chain five. and single crochet in the next chain five space and chain five again. And single crochet in the next chain five space. So in this row here, you only have these two chain five spaces over top. And you're gonna start seeing the pineapple starting to appear here. After that's done, you are going to chain three. So one, two, three. And in this next space right here, so jump all the way over to here, and you are going to apply two double crochet in. So one and two, followed by chain two, and two double crochet back into that same spot. You are now going to chain three, so one, two, three, and in the back area, the middle of your shawl, you were going to apply 
two double crochet to start. So one and two, chain two and two double crochet into the same spot. Again, this is your middle. And yes, we are going to move that stitch marker up as soon as we're done. So move your stitch marker up to the middle one there so you can see it again. Okay, and now let's continue down the other side. We're going to start by chaining three. So one, two, three, and come to this next spot right here. And you're going to apply two double crochet. Followed by a chain two. And two double crochet again. And now let's keep doing. So we're part of this pineapple here. So we're going to chain three to begin and reach on over to the chain five space. Single crochet, chain five. So one, two, three, four, five, and come to the next chain five and single in and do this again. So another chain five. And then single into the next chain five. And that pineapple is pretty much done. So we're going to continue. So chain three. So one, two, three. Okay. And what we need to do is that this space right here, we're going to apply the following two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. done because this is the edge here. You're going to chain three again. And right here in this spot, you're going to apply two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet to finish. Once you have that done, move your stitch marker up to this spot right here. And then that's it. Turn your work and let's begin row number seven. Let's begin row number seven. So right where we're sitting is in the wrong spot. And so we need to get ourselves to the edge spot right here. And so you're going to slip stitch over twice. You're going to notice some similarities from what we've done before. The only difference is, is that the distance between the edge and the center is bigger. So therefore you have more repeating and you'll have more repeating steps because it's going to start creating more pineapples. So to begin, you're going to chain three and double crochet another time into that same spot. Okay, and now you're going to chain a total of three. So we have So now you're going to chain two and two more double crochet into the same spot. And yes, let's move that stitch marker up. Let's chain three. So one, two, three and in this space right here so skip this one go right here it's a second space over you're going to do those spokes like we did before so you're going to double crochet in and then chain three a total of five times so chain three you're creating a base of a new pineapple so you'll double crochet again in and chain three so you want to do that so you can see five of these.
Okay, so I should be able to count five of those spokes. So one, two, three, four, five. And look what I did. I put an extra one in by accident. So make sure you count and use those as the key points. So one, two, three, four, five. So reaching on over to here, you were going to then put the spokes in there like you did before. You remember the five that we did here? We're putting it here now. And so it'll be a double crochet and a chain three, five times. So one, two, three. So do that five times, I'll just stay quiet. So after the last double crochet in that has, so there's five of them, one, two, three, four, five. Don't forget the chain three. Now we are going to chain, or now we're going to single crochet into this chain five space and then chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. then you're going to single crochet in the next chain five space. This here, the chain five you just applied now, is going to be the base of another uh, pineapple that will form in the future. Let's carry on. So you're gonna chain three. And in the next space right here, you're going to do another spoking of five. Okay, so you'll do your five, uh, a double crochet and a chain three five times. So that was once. So once you see your five double crochets in there, followed by the chain three spaces, don't forget the chain three after the last fifth one. You are now going to reach and you are going to do the center piece here. And in this round number, row number seven, you are just going to apply two double crochet. And then chain two and two double crochet. That's your centerpiece. Okay, and then you'll move your stitch marker up so you can find it. And then you're gonna come back down the other side. So to start another, the other side here, you were going to chain a three. So one, two, three, and come to this spot right here and do your five spokes again. So double and a chain three, five times. I'm applying the fifth one in and don't forget the chain three after the fifth one is in. Okay, so make sure you can count one, two, three, four, five. And then what you need to do is you need to come on over to this chain five space and you are going to single crochet and then chain five. One, two, three, four, five and single crochet into the next chain five space. And this is the base of a new pineapple in the future, like it is on the other side. To start again, we need to do another spoking. So we need to chain three to start. And right here, you're going to do your another spoke of five plus chain three, five times.
I'm using Karen Ripple Cakes and the color is going to be changing soon on its own. Okay, so I should be able to count five spokes. So one, two, three, four, five, followed by a chain three. And then right here on the very last stitch here is going to be two double crochet to start. And then chain two and two double crochet again. And yes, let's move up that stitch marker as well. Okay, I accidentally dropped that, so I just gotta refinish that last stitch. And let's turn our work and do, let's do row number eight. So we have this, it almost looks like angel wings, doesn't it? But when you kind of pull it out, you can really start seeing it. So you're seeing a pineapple here and here. And so then you have a pineapple coming in in the future here and here, here and here. So every time there's a repeating of the pattern, there's a new pineapple that is forming. So let's begin row number eight next. Let's begin row number eight. Right where we're sitting is in the wrong spot. We need to move to the edge. So make sure you're kind of always watching that edge. Okay, and in row number eight, we are going to chain six, which will count as a double crochet in a chain three space. Have we done this before? Absolutely, we have. So you're going to notice is that we are starting to repeat, but the official repeat is rows number 10, 11, and 12 in this pattern. So we're gonna chain six, so one, two, three, that's a double crochet, and four, five, six is a chain three spot. I want you to double crochet two times into the same edge. And then you are going to chain two and two more double crochets into the same edge. Noticing I'm jumping over the stitch marker, but I'm still in the same spot. I'm just doing it for my own visual. Okay, so then I'm just gonna move that stitch marker up to the spot here, or sorry, the stitch marker is gonna move over to here. Duh. Okay, so let's keep on moving. We're going to chain three, so one, two, three. And then you're going to reach over to the spokes and it's after the first double crochet and it's a chain three spot and you're going to single crochet and then chain five. Have you done this before? Absolutely. So one, two, three, four, five. Come to your next space, single crochet and chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. Next space, single crochet and do it again. And single crochet. So you should have a total count of three chain five spots. Okay, on a, on one pineapple. Now you're gonna chain three, so one, two, three. And in this chain five spot, which is going to finish this pineapple here, you are going to apply two double crochet, and then chain two and two double crochet. This will become a new pineapple in the future. Okay, now you're gonna chain three and reach over to your spoke section right here. It's a long way over, but it's there. So it's technically the second space over and you're going to single crochet and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, single crochet the next and chain five again. Single crochet the next, chain five, and single crochet again. So you should have a total count of three 
chain five spaces. Now we happen to be hitting the center next, so chain three. And in the center space, you are going to apply the following. Two double crochet to start, chain two, and in the same spot, two double crochet again, chain three, two double crochet again after the stitch marker, but in the same spot, let's move that stitch marker up before we go too far, go to the center one you just made. not done with the center so we're going to chain two and two more double crochets into the center so this is aligning us to have another pineapple appear in the future let's go down the other side so you're going to start with chain three and then you reach over to this chain three spot right here it's the pineapple you're going to single crochet and chain five you'll do that a total there so you can see three chain five spaces okay come to your next one single crochet and chain five okay so you should have three chain five spaces and now we're ready to come on over here. So to reach over there first, you are going to then chain three. And in this chain five space right here, you are going to apply two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and this will become a pineapple in the future. Now you're going to chain three and reach on over to your chain three spot right here. You're going to single crochet, chain five, and you do that until you see three chain five spaces. So I see three chain five spaces. And so to move on from this, I'm going to chain three. And in the very last edge piece right here, I'm going to double crochet twice. Sorry, some, um, I use my phone and somebody's messaging me. So, Double, uh, chain two, so double crochet twice, chain two, double crochet two more times in. And we're not quite done yet. We're gonna chain three and double crochet one more time there. So then that stitch marker has to be moved up to this last chain three spot. And this will conclude row number eight. Let's turn your work and let's begin row number nine. Row number nine, we're in the wrong spot. We need to move to this chain three spot, which is the next spot over. So slip stitch one over and you are going to chain a total of six. So one, two, three, that's your double crochet and four, five, six is a chain three spot. And in the same one, the same uh, edge, you're going to double crochet. Now, I want to move that stitch marker up to that spot that I just created, so we can find that again in the future. OK, 
Okay, let's continue on. And we're going to chain three. So one, two, three. And we're gonna to come to this spot right here. This is the next space. And you're going to apply two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. You're now going to chain three and then focusing on these chain five spaces, you're going to come to the first chain five space right over here and you're going to single crochet in and chain five. Single crochet the next chain five space and then chain five. And single crochet the next space. Okay, so you should have two chain five spaces. You're gonna chain three, and you're gonna reach all the way to over to here, okay? And this here is going to stay the same thing that you had before. It's going to be a, a two double crochet. Followed by chain two and two double crochet. So in the next row, what's going to happen is that here, we're going to be creating the spokes to start opening up another pineapple. So chain three, and you're going to reach to this next chain five space right over here, and you're going to single crochet and chain five. Come to your next chain five space, single crochet, and then chain five. And then come to your next chain five space and single crochet. So you'll have two chain five spaces this time. And we're gonna be heading to the center shortly. So we're gonna chain three to get there. And right here, we're going to do two double crochet, followed by chain two, two double crochet again. This is going to open up a new pineapple in the future. You're not going to chain three. In the center piece right here, you're going to apply one double crochet, chain three, and one double crochet. And let's move that stitch marker up to that middle spot right that we just created. So you can just pull the strand here if you need more space. And let's go down the other side. We're going to chain three. And in this space right here, it's two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Now you're going to start and you're going to reach on over here first. To get there though, you need to chain three. Hopefully you're understanding the consistency of how things are jumping. So come on over here and let's single crochet. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in the next chain five space and chain five. And coming on here. Okay, so there's gonna be only two chain five spaces followed by chain three. And you're gonna reach over to this one right here and keep it the same thing that you see. So it's gonna be a two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet. Do you see that?
So this pineapple finish and this one is start uh, is um, midway through, and this one is going to be the restart, and this one is the restart of something new. Chain three, single crochet in the next chain five space, and then chain five. Single crochet in the next chain five space, and then chain five. And single crochet in the next chain five space. So you have a total of two chain five spaces. Chain three, and then right here, you're going to apply two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. not done because you're not on the edge you're going to chain three and in the very edge one here you're going to apply one double crochet chain three and one double crochet and let's move that stitch marker up to that space so we can find that again in the future so rows number 10, 11, and 12 is the repeat, and hopefully you've been understanding the consistency on what we're doing, and we're gonna be talking about that next in just a moment. So we're now going to start rows number 10, 11, and 12, which is the repeat pattern, and it's just three rows just over and over and over. So when you finish row number 12, you're gonna go back to row number 10. The only difference is, is that every time you do a repeat, you're creating a new section of a new pineapple to appear. So there will be more repeats before you get to an edge. So, but I'm gonna leave that in your capable hands on being able to figure that out. And I'll try to tell you that as we go as well. And so you're gonna see more and more spaces go in order to get yourself to a center piece. And then the same thing that happens on one side happens on the other. Let's turn our work and we're going to begin row number 10, which is the start of the repeat in just a moment. Let's begin row number 10. We're obviously in the wrong spot. We need to move to this chain three space, which is the one over. We're now going to chain three, and we're gonna double crochet into the same spot. And then you are gonna chain two, and two more double crochets into the same edge. Now, let's move that stitch marker up to the middle one of that one. Now, in this case, I'm going to give you the instruction as we get to the center, but the one part of this repeats over and over and over until you get to the center. So the next time you end up doing row number 10, there's going to be an extra repeat, and then you do it again, there's going to be two extra repeats and more as you're continuing to make this bigger. To begin this process, then, you are going to chain three to start from the corner and you're going to reach over to this one right here. And you're going to create those spokes. Do you remember that? It's the double crochet followed by chain three and I need you to have five spokes. So I'll be quiet again as you do that. So make sure you chain three after every double crochet. So there are five spokes, so I should see five double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five. And at the end of the last spoke, you should chain three. Now you're gonna reach over to here. And so this is a part of the repeat. So whenever you get here, you're always gonna see this and you're going to see that you'll need to single crochet in and then chain five. And single crochet in the next. So this finishes this pineapple here. So then the repeat starts again to create more spokes in the next space. So you'll have more of this stuff 
happening over and over as you have the repeats. I don't want to over explain because I think I'm starting to mansplain. So let's uh, begin this. So we're going to chain a total of three. And you're going to reach over to the space right here and start a new spoke. So a new pineapple. So it's a double crochet and a chain three so that you can see five spokes. Once you can see your five spokes, your five double crochets, make sure there's a chain three after the last spoke. And then you reach over to the next pineapple and you're going to single crochet, chain five, and single crochet in the next chain five space. And that finishes that pineapple below. And so then you start again, so you just chain three. Now, because this is part of a repeat pattern, you'll run into another one of these before you're getting get to the corner edge. And every time you're repeating this pattern, you get one extra every time. In this case, we are coming to the corner. So right here, we are going to do another spoke. So it's going to be a double crochet, chain three, and double crochet and chain three. And so you can see five of the spokes again. Sorry if I'm mansplaining, you can let me know in the comments. I'm trying not to, it's just I know somebody's gonna say, I wish you would have just filmed all of the rows. If you can understand that the repeating is happening, it's it'll make your life a lot easier and plus mine too. So I'm looking for my five double crochets that I just put in. So one, two, three, four, five. Chain three after the last one. So that stay, stays consistent. And then you're gonna come right to the, to the middle here. And you're gonna double crochet twice. I, think, I don't think that was a double crochet. That was something, but it wasn't a double crochet. So let's try again. So double crochet. We're doing that twice. Chain two and two more double crochet in there. And that is the middle of your shawl. And if I could not drop stitches, it would be a, such a better tutorial. Somebody's probably gonna leave me a complaint about that too. <laughs> I find with lacy work, I tend to drop the stitches a lot more. Okay, so I wanna move my stitch marker up to keep that, and I'm gonna go down the other side. And it's like I sh shared with you before, the only difference is that the edge gets further apart in the repeating going down. So to go down the other side, you're going to start off by chaining three, and then come to the space and create a spoke. So you double crochet and chain three five times. One, two, three, four, five. Chain three after the last spoke. So reach on over to this chain five space and single crochet and chain five. And single crochet into the next chain five space. So that finishes that pineapple and then you're going to chain three and then look for the next one like that looks like this and you'll be repeating that all the way to the edge and you'll create a spoke. Spoke is just a word that I'm just creating here for tutorial purposes. Um, I think about this stuff as like a, a center of a wheel for like the spokes of a, uh, like a bicycle tire. 
That's what it reminds me of. That's why I say that. So sometimes my analogies work and other times they don't. So once I can see my five spokes, I got my chain three to go in afterward. And then I reach to the next pineapple here and I'm going to single crochet and chain five. Single crochet in the next one and that finishes that pineapple. So chain three and I'm reaching to here. And so you're just creating these new spokes all the way down to the edge. In my case, it's coming up shortly. So I'm creating another spoke. So I'm looking for my five double crochet. I talked about what happens when I chain and I don't always uh, hold that. Um, it can wrap around the, the needle incorrectly or the hook. So I'm looking for my five spokes. So one, two, three, four, five. And then after the last one, I'm going to chain three. And then in the last space right here, I'm going to apply two double crochet chain two and two double crochet and that finishes this side off okay you're going to want to move up your stitch marker and we're going to move on to round number a row number 11 in just a moment and let's turn our work and let's begin row number 11 we're in the wrong spot and we're going to move on ourselves to this edge so let's slip stitch over twice. And let's begin by chaining six. So one, two, three, that's a double crochet. And four, five, six is a chain three space. And in the same space here, you're going to want to apply two more double crochet. Followed by chain two and two more double crochet into the same spot. We're now going to move that stitch marker up to over here. Marley's idea to move these stitch markers is brilliant, by the way. I think I already said that, but I don't know if I did. Okay, so we got that. Now we're gonna chain three. So one, two, three. You've done this before. You're reaching over to the spokes. It's the first chain three, and you're going to single crochet and then chain five. Okay, and you keep doing that to fill in these spoke areas. So single crochet the next, and then chain five again. The next space, single crochet and chain five again. Single crochet the next. So you have three chain five spaces. Now you're going to chain three and right in this chain five space, which is the ending of this one here, you're going to apply two double crochet. Chain two and two double crochet. And this will start a new pineapple in the future. Okay, you're now going to chain three. And then you come on over here to your spoke and you go into your first one and single crochet in the chain three spot and then chain five and just fill in those spots. So there should be three chain five spaces. So I see the three chain five spaces. You're going to chain three. And then you come in here and you finish this pineapple. And that'll be two double crochet. Chain two and two double crochet. 
So the next time through the repeat, there's going to be an extra pineapple that you will be starting. And it's based on, you know, the idea that this is getting ready to start another one coming up in the future. So everything is contingent on the repeating. Continuing over, you're going to chain three and you reach to the next spoke. So you'll have more spokes next time you have a repeat. So single and then chain five. So single and then chain five. So how many chain five spaces should, should there be? Did you say three? Okay, if you said four or five, then you don't get a cookie today. But if you said three, that's the right number. So three, it's always consistent. Okay, so we happen to be coming up onto the edging. So if this was not an edging, you would just chain three and then do your next finishing of the next pineapple and then coming and doing another one. So these ones will always finish off before you end up with the, in the very back here. So on the back edging here, you were going to apply the following. You're going to apply two double crochet. And then chain two. And two double crochet again. Chain three. I'm coming on the other side of the stitch marker, but it's the same spot. So then it's two double crochet again. Okay, let's move that stitch marker up while we can still see it. not done on the back one here we're going to continue again we're going to chain two and in the same spot two more double crochet so this is going to open us up to have more pineapples again that will start in the future okay you're going to chain three and come down the other side we'll look for the next chain three space right here single crochet and then chain five one two three four five keep filling them in like we did the other sides. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two. And single crochet in. So there should be three chain five spaces. You're going to chain three only. And right here, you are going to apply two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So this is going to get us prepared for another pineapple that will appear later. Chain three. And reach on over to your spoke section, single crochet and chain five. Okay, single crochet the next and chain five. So you have three chain five spaces. Okay, so I see those. Now I'm gonna chain three. And then I reach over here. And it's gonna be two double crochet. Chain two. And two double crochet. Okay, I'm not gonna chain three. And then I reach over here. So there's gonna be, next time in the repeat, there will be an extra one of these compared to what there is now. And so it just progressively gets bigger. So single crochet, chain five, and make your three chain five spaces like you know how to do. No. 
Okay. So now you're coming up to an edge, but if it wasn't an edge, you'd be like repeating what you already know here and just kind of making everything open up perfectly. At the end here, you're gonna chain three. And in the very last piece right here, you are going to apply two double crochet to start. Okay, chain two, two double crochet again. But you're not done, you wanna chain three and double crochet again into the last spot. Again, if I could actually crochet, it would be better. Okay, so once that chain three spots in, then I'm just going to pull it through. Okay, and then we're gonna turn our work and get ready for row number 12, which is the final of the repeat. So as we begin row number 12, you can see that you have a pineapple here, here, and here, and you have a new pineapple that will be starting here, 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 and here in the future. So things just continually progress to build out. Let's begin row number 12. Row number 12, we're sitting in the wrong spot. We're going to slip stitch on over one, and then you're gonna chain six. So one, two, three is a double crochet, and four, five, six is a chain three spot. Right here in the same spot, you're just going to double crochet. And you're gonna move your stitch marker up to this chain three spot. So you can find it again in the future because when you go back to row number 10, this is where you're going to be starting again. As you move on now, we're going to chain three. So one, two, three and come into this space right here, and you are going to put two double crochet in to start, followed by a chain two, and two double crochet in. Okay, so let's go through the repeat all the way to get to the new um, back edge right here. So it's just a repeating instruction. You're gonna chain three, one, two, three, and you are gonna to reach to the chain five space, single crochet, and you are going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet into the next, and do it one more time. So chain five, one, two, three, four, five, the next chain five space, single crochet. So there's gonna be two chain five spaces this time that will be finishing up this pineapple in the future. Chain three and reach over to this one right here. This is the base of a new pineapple. So two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet. Okay, chain three. Okay, come on over here. You're gonna finish there. Well, we're not finished yet, but we'll come over to this pineapple and you're going to single crochet, chain five. Single crochet in the next space and then chain five. single crochet in the next space. So you have a total of three, or sorry, two chain five spaces. So you're going to chain three, and then this one, just keep it the same thing. So two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So you're gonna start a new one again, and in the next repeat, not this one, but in the next one, there'll be two of these before you get to the edge, so that you're always gonna be increasing. So you're gonna chain three to start, come to the next chain five space, single crochet, and then chain five. And you're doing that twice. Okay, 
and single crochet in the next. Okay, so there should be two chain five spaces and the corners coming up soon or the back edge, chain three. And in this space right here, it's just like it is here. So it's a double crochet uh, two times. So two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. And this is will get us ready for another pineapple in the future. You're now going to chain three. And in this space right here, you're going to apply one double crochet, chain three, and one double crochet. And I want to move my stitch marker up to the middle one of that one to keep an eye on it. Daniel's cleaning just in the room above me. Okay, so we're gonna come down the other side. So let's begin by chaining three. And here, this will be a new pineapple in the future. There's gonna be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Okay, now we're gonna chain three and come into this pineapple area here, single crochet the first chain five space and then chain five. Single crochet in the next chain five space and chain five again. Single crochet in the next chain five space. So there should be two chain five spaces and then followed by a chain three. And then here, just keep it the same thing that you see. So it's gonna be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Chain three. Okay, reach on over here, you, this pineapple, single crochet, chain five, do that twice. Okay, so you should have two chain five spaces, and then chain three, and then reach over here. So you're gonna have more of these as the repeats continue. So two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Keep on going, so chain three. Reach on over here, single crochet, chain five. see that so what's gonna happen is that you just keep repeating this and this and this and this until you get to the edge so in the repeats it gets more and more okay let's come up to our edge next you're gonna chain three and you're gonna reach over to this one right here and you are going to put in two double crochet chain two two double crochet Okay, chain three, and in the last one that's marked, you're going to apply one double crochet, chain three, and one double crochet, and move that stitch marker up so you can see it. Okay, so there is an unusual, usually in patterns, they always repeat by three. Um, 
this one, or sorry, repeat in an even number. This one is repeating in an odd number, but it works and it is a great little pattern to work with. So let's talk about the repeating that you'll do and then I'll show you how to do the last row. So you're now gonna go back to row number 10 and you're gonna repeat that. So you can reverse the video. We use video chapters so you can get the time marker there. You can just click it and it will take you back to row number 10 and 11 and 12 and keep on doing that. The only difference is, is that there's gonna be more and more repeating as you're getting from the edge to the middle and etc. on the other side. Now, what's gonna happen is that you're gonna repeat that a certain amount of times until you're happy. And now the pattern says to repeat rows number 10 to 12, a total of 10 times, but you can stop at any point uh, when you're happy. If you want it bigger, just keep on repeating. And then the last row here is going to be the next part of this tutorial to show you how to finish when you're ready. Let's uh, begin to do the last row next. Let's do your last row. So when you're ready to finish off, you're just gonna slip stitch your first chain space there. This is at the end of a row number 12. So you don't need to move your stitch markers up anymore. You're just going to chain three. And in the same spot at the edge here, you're going to apply four more double crochets. So we have one, two, three, and four. Okay, so now you're gonna continue along. You're going to chain three. And you were in the space right here, you're gonna keep it the same. So it'll be a double crochet uh, two times. So two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. This would have been, if you were doing row number 10, this would have been a starting of a spoke, but we wanna finish it and not create another pineapple to be. Chain three and you're going to be finishing this pineapple. So just come to the next chain five space, single, and then chain five. Come to the next chain five space and single. So that finishes that pineapple there. You're gonna chain three. And right over here, you're going to do exactly what you see. So two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and you're gonna repeat this all the way to the middle Okay, so it's, so the repeating goes, chain three, single to the next chain five, and then chain five to finish this pineapple. Single, single to the next chain five, so that pineapple is now done, chain three, and then reach on over here. So two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So easy to remember. Chain three to start again, reach over, finish this pineapple. And so there'll be more pineapples, of course, before you get to the back edging. Okay, single into the next. To finish that pineapple, chain three. So reaching on over, you're going to double crochet tw uh, two times, and then chain two, two and then put two more double crochet in. So if you're not ready for the back edging like I am, then you just chain three and you're gonna chain three anyway, even if you're ready for it. But then you just go back and you just keep finishing off the pineapples until you're ready. So after you get this one in, you chain three. So right into this spot right here, you are going to apply five double crochet. So we have one, two, three, four, and five, followed by chain three, and then five more double crochet into that. And you don't need to move your stitch marker up because you're done. Okay, and then I wanna continue down this other side. Let's keep going, we're gonna chain three. And then you're going to do exactly what you see here, and it's two double crochet. And chain 
two and two double crochet. Now you're going to chain three and then come into this space here and you're going to single crochet and then chain five and single crochet in the next, which finishes that pineapple that you see below. Now you're gonna chain three, and then you're gonna come here and you're gonna follow exactly what you see. So it's two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So you're just gonna repeat this all the way till you get to the edge. Okay, chain three. You know, on the top of the pineapple, so single crochet, chain five, single crochet the next one, and now that pineapple is done, chain three. Okay, just follow what you see below, it's two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. chain three, and then reach over another pineapples here, so it's single, chain five, and single, chain three. Okay, and then follow, you see this, do the same thing, so it's two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. Okay, and then chain two, sorry, chain three, I apologize. And then you're gonna come right to your final edge and there will be five double crochets in that final one. Again, you don't need to move your stitch marker because you're done. Okay, and then after this, so you're gonna to wanna to finish this off and you're going to wanna to take any loose ends that you will have and you're gonna to want to um, make sure that you secure it in with a tapestry needle. So we'll quickly talk about that. So just grab a tapestry needle and just finish it off. And just drag it through the other side and try to split the fibers, just don't go between fibers because it will fall out. And when you pull the first time, make sure you don't change the shape. Okay, so try to squeeze that needle in between real fibers itself and not just the strands. And you'll be able to move out your stitch markers then at this point. And pull those out when you're ready. And this is it. So it's a really neat concept and I hope that you enjoyed today and you can let me know how you did in the comments below.